My name is Francesca Paletta. I'm a neurologist and clinical researcher based at King's College London in the UK. And I've been interested in the study and research of visual snow for quite some time now, since 2016 at least. So during my clinical training, I was quite interested in headache disorders. And uh, when I came to work in Professor Goadsby's group here at King's, I started getting some experience with uh, patients with visual snow. So we were starting to learn more about this condition. And as headache specialists, we uh, were often uh, referred patients with visual snow, um, sometimes because they were misdiagnosed uh, as having a form of peculiar, very prolonged aura. But of course, we had the knowledge at the time already that this was a completely different condition. Um, and I became very interested in, in studying this thanks to uh, the patient's reports and just uh, knowing uh, the fact that it was a very, very new disorder and very little was known with regards to its basic biology. So I then decided to pursue a PhD uh, that was uh, essentially focused on the topic of visual snow syndrome. We know that there's a lot of shared biology between migraine and aura and visual snow, but it was really interesting to me to see that there was this new condition that had just been defined and characterized and that very little was known about it. And that's actually something very rare in, uh, in medicine and in science in general to have something that's just been given a name a few years back. What I find um, very interesting and important to understand, for example, is why some patients seem to be very affected by, by visual snow and the associated symptoms, whereas you have some other people who don't necessarily consider it as a disease or as something particularly debilitating. And just generally, I think what's really important and we still are uh, putting a lot of effort into this is generally trying to understand what causes visual snow, what the underlying biological and neurological phenomenon is. I first became familiar and came across visual snow from, um, let's say, a scientific and research perspective. I was following the work of my colleagues. Uh, at the time, uh, they were based at UCSF, so Professor Peter Goadsby's work and, and Dr. Christoph Shankin. So I was familiar with the papers that were released in 2014, the very important seminal papers that were published in really relevant neurological journals. Um, so I knew that this condition was being defined for the first time, that it was associated with migraine, but it, that it was a completely different condition at the same time, um, and that it was characterized by a series of uh, clinical symptoms. So of course, the basic symptom that we all know, the static, uh, but then um, that we, we could also understand that it constituted a syndrome, so uh, an associated set of symptoms which can be uh, of course very debilitating when they're all combined but after that when I uh, came to work in uh, Peter Goadsby's group here in London uh, I started to actually get clinical exposure um, from patients so uh, I came across a few uh, patients in the clinic who were uh, complaining of this condition what was really bothering them on a day-to-day -day basis was this continuous um, visual static and the visual symptoms that were affecting their day-to-day life. Um, so I think it was the, the exposure with uh, the patient's uh, histories and, um, and the way that the symptoms were affecting uh, their daily living that really made me interested in, in the condition. 